Hey everybody. Um, I just did a poll saying that we're going to Kerwin's. Obviously, today is 4th of July. Today is my baby's birthday. So I definitely got to celebrate. So I just got myself together so we can go out to the park. I said, all right, well, every time I get something that comes to mind, you know what? Even though you guys watch my YouTube videos, that's awesome. But to be honest, I feel like my YouTube is my journal. So every time something comes to mind, I'm basically... Really, y'all, these videos are a piece of my mind. So to be honest, when y'all see my videos, y'all getting a piece of me. So this video today is pretty much keep your word. Be a man of your word. Because once you can realize to be a man of what you say you're going to do, or to be a man, or not even a man, a person of your word, when you realize to be that person of what you promise to yourself, or to other people, to your kids, to whoever, you'll realize that success will come at your door. Now, a lot of times we can take for granted of promising ourselves something and we feel like because it's ourselves, we don't have to follow through on it because you might not really care or be mad at yourself. But you should be the main one holding yourself accountable for when you promise yourself that you're going to do something. Like for instance, let's just say the burpee challenge. I promised that I would do the 50 burpees a day and I told myself this not even just for for the videos I told myself this but in my head if I don't do it I really feel like I disappointed myself so even though I might not always make it to put the camera out to record everything that don't always mean that I'm not fulfilling my word to myself behind and off off camera because I do because I'm really a health fanatic I'm really serious about health as well I'm really serious about just being better than I was because I've come a long way, guys. I've actually toned up and lost weight, and my progress is so inspiring. I'm sorry. My progress is so inspiring to me that I have to keep it going and keep the word to myself. And then also, too, keeping your word to other people. You know how many relationships you can build as far as networking or just relationships you can build that's important. Because when you really think about it, life's most important values when interacting with other people is pretty much moments. Like a lot of times, everybody know that death is part of life. You're going to die. I'm going to die. We all have death that will eventually knock at your door. But the thing that kind of makes it not as, as bad is the moments that you had with that person. So moments, you know, memories, just moments of everything means the most. So let's just say you promised that she was going to spend time with your mother, but all of a sudden you didn't spend time with her. And now when if something happened to her, you had that memory in your head that you didn't keep your word about spending time with your mother. So that that's bad because a lot of times, and I've seen this a lot to where a lot of people lost their mom. And they're so hard on themselves because the mom, sometimes parents have a way of trying to bring you to spend time with them. Because sometimes they feel like they know that something's about to happen. So they try to get their kids to spend time, but then the kids be so busy with work, family, or they just flat out don't spend time with their parents because they just being ignorant to where when they lose their parents, now that's one thing that they can't get over. Like, dang, my mother was trying to get me to spend time with her and I just didn't do it. And that's a bad memory. So keeping your word, being a person of your word, it's important for things like that. You know, it's sentimental. Sentimental value is always the best value. If you promise yourself that you want to do something you never did before, then do it. Get out of your fear. Get out of your doubt. Get out of feeling like you don't deserve it because you do. Get out of all that negative, untrue stuff. Because a lot of those feelings are not even true. That's just an illusion. All these fears, doubts, uh, just envy, jealousy, everything that's a negative vibe is not even true. That's something that you're giving life to that you don't have to. The same way you're giving life to that negative term, you can turn that around and give life to the positive term and put it into I am. I am not fearful. I am, matter of fact, I am bold. I am a risk taker. I believe, I believe that I can do. Or, you know, I am somebody. I am special. I am beautiful. I am handsome. Or nobody can hold me down because what I want, I shall receive. If you don't ask, you won't receive. So if you give, be a person where as don't promise too big. And I feel like that's where a lot of failure goes on 
is when you make your word something that you can't even attain. So you didn't think about it be before you threw your word out there. But think about it. Take the time. Okay, what if I give my word on something? Can I deliver? That's part of the success in delivering on being a person of your word. Is First of all, are you capable of delivering on what you just promised? Don't just say something because you feel like that's what somebody want to hear. Or don't just say something because it sounds good. Say something that is true. Keep it 100 that's why I'm so big on my title and that's why I so much picked it in the beginning because my mom I get a lot of my ways from my mother I, I swear I do because I just finished talking to her yesterday about my my fiance <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> I'm sorry my mother and my father they are so worse than me with just saying what's on their mind if y'all met my mother and father, y'all can pretty much realize why I am the way I am. But my mother's camera shy, so I don't think y'all would ever get to meet her. But gosh, man, she gave it. <laughs> but forget all that. Be a person of your word. If you promise something, deliver it. You have so much, um, I'm sorry, I hate to say the um, because that's not professionally speaking. But you will have so much better outcomes if what you say you follow through on especially with like health is wealth like if you follow through on all the workouts you say you're going to do your body going to be the results and gift of it all in itself and then as far as daddies you know if you promise to be in your child's life be in your child's life the results going to be you're going to have a nice beautiful daughter that grow up into a beautiful flower of a woman and you're going to have a man that can be you know part of a good not to say good society but he can be a productive man in the society to where he's a productive guy he's another man that can give to his son or give to the next boy that need so yes, man, be be people of your words because the word goes a long way. And a lot of New Yorkers are are big on that to where they be like, hey, you know, be a man of your word. Word is where it's at. Word is bond. That's they saying, New Yorkers, word is bond. Like be a word, you know. If you can't keep your word, you can't roll with us. Shit, if you can't keep your word, some people lose their life behind not keeping their word. And you know, up and don't really like street life, you know, the streets. So keep your word. If you can't deliver, don't give the word. That's too easy. So you realize you somebody that can't keep your word. Like don't give the promise and you know freaking well you're not going to deliver. Don't do it. Just don't. Stop. Give. Be realistic. Be realistic of what you're capable of. And I promise you, your life will be so much better. Because I can guarantee people that are habitual liars or they tell white lies. White lies is where it's a lie that really don't affect nobody. But it's a little teeny small lie. But a lie is a lie. If you say you're going to do something and then you don't do it, you just lied. You just flat out lied. Now, Grant, everybody tells white lies. Cause, and you might not tell it on purpose because sometimes life happens to where you mean well to do what you said you was going to do. But somehow something happened to where maybe you got too busy or you work a lot, or something happened to where it took you off course, either you forgot to do it, or you just could not do it. But then you get back around to doing it. Like me, I had so much stuff that I kind of feel like I, I've told some white lies, not on purpose, because I be putting, I, for me, I feel like I put too much on my plate to where I mean well when I promise it, but when it comes time to deliver. For so me, you know what? It's not a white lie. It's a delay for for people. Like, as long as you get to it. Like, something, you know what I feel like a white lie is? You promise you're going to do something, but then you never do it. Now, it could be a delay if you promise you're going to do something, but you you delay it. So, don't be a procrastinate. I guess that's caught fall into the category of procrastination. So, sometimes I still procrastinate every now and then, but then I do my self-evaluation, and I'm like, girl, you better get, you better take care of that. That is not you. I'm like, you so right, that ain't me. Let me get, let me get my stuff together because I'm all about being a better person, you know, today that I was yesterday, being a better person than I was an hour ago in this present moment. It's all about staying present, right? So, all right, y'all, time is the essence. Let's make better time of it. Let me get out here to Carolyn's and enjoy my daughter's birthday. I got dressed. So I hope y'all enjoying y'all 4th of July. All my military vets, thank you to all my current service workers, my current military people in the service sacrificing y'all life. Thank you so much to all the Army, Army, the Navy, the Marines, and the Air Force, to everybody that's serving, because all y'all serve a very important role that without y'all, I wouldn't have the freedoms that I have today. 
So please make it back home to your families. You go fight that war and do your assignment and you make it back safe. And for all the ones that didn't make it back safe, you know, I'm so sorry. And then thank you to all my truck drivers. Thank you to all, even myself. Thank you to all the truck drivers that sacrificed. And y'all put so much just effort and so much man hours into delivering goods. Because everything that we have, whether it's your clothes, whether it's your food, whether it's telephone poles, everything y'all had, or a house, anything that's a commodity, a truck driver had his hands in it. So I give kudos and credit to every truck driver that's out there. I don't give a hell if you just bump docks, if you touch freight, or you flat batting it, whatever you do, I give credit to you, honey, because you sacrifice a whole lot to do that job, and I know this just from doing it myself. I sacrifice a lot to do my job, so credits to you. Credit to all the firefighters for fighting fires and saving lives. I give credit to all the police. Not all, I give credit to some, because a lot of these police officers are just crooked as hell. But for the honest, let me put the word honest in front of police officers. I give credit to all the honest police officers because there are good police officers out there that do want to help and they do fight crime the honest way and they are about all citizens not just certain citizens according to their color so i give credit to the honest police because police do put their life online daily when they go to these crime scenes whether it's a murder scene whether it's a altercation any type they do put their life online so they do have to protect themselves as well so, all right, y'all, let me get out here and enjoy my day with my family. So, y'all enjoy y'all day. Enjoy the cookout and all this other stuff. So, all right, babies, y'all love y'all. <laughs> Virtual hugs, boo. Virtual hugs, boo. Virtual mother-sucking hugs. Time is of the essence, honey. We're going to make better time of it. Because we going to love each other, not judge each other. I never judge you. I love you. I love you. This is...